Hola, hola, hola guys, it's me and we are going to talk about the Kat Von D Lolita collection which involves the Lolita eyeshadow palette, the eyeliner in the color Lolita and also an everlasting uh, glimmer lipstick that came in the same shade. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just go into showing you the products. Um, first of all, <clears throat> if you're not aware of Kat Von D, which I'm pretty sure everyone knows about her, um, all her stuff is vegan, cruelty-free, um, and you can find her products at Sephora and her website, KatVonD.com. Um, she recently released this collection um, based on one of her popular shades in her liquid lipstick, which is the color Lolita, um, and she decided to make a three-piece collection. So... Here is the palette right here, as you can see. And first things first, I think that the packaging is very pretty, very sweet, um, very sturdy. The packaging, this is a hard plastic, um, and she did her artwork, as she stated. Um, it says Lolita here on the front, Kat Von D. Um, all the colors are listed on the back, which is nice, and they're all Spanish, which is a plus. Um, now, when you open it up, here is the palette. It comes with a nice uh, wide mirror, which is very pretty, with all of her signature artwork as usual. And then on the bottom, you can obviously see the colors of the palette. This palette is an all matte palette. There are no shimmers, no metallics, no nothing. Everything is completely matte vegan formula. Um, so I'm going to go over the colors and just swatch them with you. And yes, I am wearing um, the palette on my eyes today, obviously. Um, the lip color and the eyeliner I am not wearing at this moment. And I'm going to explain to you why later on. But first, I'm going to go into the colors. So... This color right now, right here, is the lightest color. This is a very, very, very pale pink, as you can see. And this one is called Promesa. Um, the next color that is next to it, I'm just going to swatch it on here as well. And these are very light colors, as you can see. I'm going to double swatch again, just so that you see that color a little more. This color is Besitos. Um, going into the next color, which is the darker shades, so I'm going to put that right over here, and that obviously is visibly darker. That is the color Recuerdos, um, which in English means memories. Um, the next color after that, which is a little, little lighter right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that over here, which is a little bit lighter, and this is called Emorsura. Um, next color... And we're going into like the Lolita type shades. These shades here are more like on the mauve side. And then you're going to go more and see the warmer Lolita shades. So the next one is that I'm swatching is Con Amor. And that is that color right there. And the next color after that, which is the famous color, <laughs> which we call Lolita. So this is that color right here. Oh, I did a little lower, but there it is. Okay, and then I'm going to go into this darker, whiny color here, which is called Corazón. I'm going to put that over here, as you can see. And the last color of this palette, which is this very dark, vampy shade here, is called Eterno. And I'm going to put that over here. So there you have it. These are all the colors in the palette ranging. So these are more of the mauve type colors, very light, going into mauve, and then you're going to go into the warmer um, terracotta colors, which are the Lolita shades, um, the Corazón, Eterno, Lolita, Con Amor. Those are the warmer terracotta type shades. So these are all the shades in the palette. Again, I am wearing the colors. And first of all, I I kind of had uh, took my time on the palette because I didn't want to do like just one look and then get on here and be like, oh, it sucks or oh, it's great. I really wanted to be 100% sure of how I felt of the palette only because in the beginning I kind of um, 
fought with it a little bit like I, I kind of had little issues with it um first of all these colors are all matte again like I said um there is some fallback to the pan um there definitely is uh you know some fallback that you I mean it's not really so much to worry about it's just a little bit just make sure that you tap in excess all of that excess powder before you're putting it on um again these colors and i think that my battle was kind of the blending because this palette is vegan most vegan palettes especially the darker colors are a little bit more dry a little bit more um harder to blend and i thought i had that problem the first time i tried it out when i first did it did my first look it was like kind of like uh I, i'm kind of like having a little bit of trouble blending um it seemed like the colors kind of were like going into each other so i didn't want to review it just yet because i really wanted to give the palette a fair shot so i gave it a fair shot i tried it a couple of times this week and um, I can say now that I do like the palette. Um, besides the kickback, um, the dark colors are dark, they are pigmented. I think that pretty much every color in this palette with the excess, with the exception of Promesa. Promesa is very, very, very light and you really have to lay it on there. I'm wearing Promesa on my lid. I was trying to do a cut crease, um, but it kind of didn't, um, perform as dramatically as I wanted. I kind of wanted it to just stand out a little more. Um, I didn't really get it. I still do like the look. I just kind of wanted it a little more dramatic. Um, I actually saw some looks on darker toned girls, darker toned women, um, who tried out this palette and the lighter colors looked sensational on them so I'm gonna say that if you are a darker tone than me the lighter tones are definitely gonna look great on you if you're a lighter tone if you're a fair tone like I am um, it's probably gonna be a little challenging but if you bump up the color put on some good primer or concealer um, I think that it can get there um, this palette really is nice if you are needing a palette with romantic mauve colors which is really the uh, the color family in this palette then I'm gonna recommend this palette um, it actually reminded me of a similar palette um, I don't know if you have the palette or not um, but dose of colors actually has a marvelous mobs collection and here are the colors that are in their palette now of course they have less colors and they don't have the other warm colors with Lolita if you're looking for something that's just strictly mauve tone um, this is actually another palette that I would say is almost just almost similar it's it's almost calling out to the colors as you can see so if you happen to have uh, the palette from the uh, from Dose of Colors, Marvelous Mars, Mauves, I think that you can skip on the Kat Von D. But if you do not have a mauve collection, a mauve palette, I think that you can go ahead and get the Kat Von D palette. Not only because it has nice mauves, but it, all, it also has these nice terracotta brownish colors, um, which will really go nicely and help you make a lot of other looks other than mauve romantic tones. You can make this very uh, romantic light base. Now, I did this look to go to work. I'm not trying to go all dramatic and things like that. But if you want to make a dramatic look, you definitely have the color here that will definitely help you amp up your look <coughs> excuse me I'm still dealing with a cough here another thing that I'm just gonna mention and this is my personal opinion that's how I feel with the palette how the palette uh, worked for me how it performed on me um, I kind of feel that you have to be careful with blending I feel that if you blend the colors too much they will start to go into themselves and get a little muddy but I I think that that's um, very common in matte palettes anyway and that's just me talking but um, if you're going to really get into those dark colors and really get dramatic I would just be a little extra careful with blending you don't want to blend too too much or the look is going to get a little sloppy it's gonna get a little muddy so you want to try of course you're gonna blend but try not to over blend which was one of the problems I had in the beginning so I chose to blend less and bl I blended but I blended less so I just wanted to also mention that about the palette but I'm gonna give the palette a go I think that it's a nice palette um I actually was very excited when I saw this palette because honestly in the past 
um her palettes were really not a go with me um the colors were just very dark i just could not do the dark shades that she had they just didn't look good on me and then the quality was kind of low too for me i had the same problem actually with the muddy colors and the blending was terrible and, and blotchy in some colors so i actually stopped buying her palettes i strictly was just using her liquid lipsticks and her eyeliners which is still what i use but i am very happy uh to to say that i do like this palette i think that it's a good investment again if you don't have a palette with mauves if you need something that's strictly with mauves you need a nice romantic palette especially for uh Victoria's Secret do you hear me <laughs> for Valentine's Day that's coming up then this is definitely going to give you a beautiful romantic look and of course you can amp it up with glitter or whatever you have metallic shadows in your palette so I'm gonna give this palette a go it's good because it has good pigmentation and it blends pretty well I'll just say be careful with blending especially the dark colors there is some kickback in this palette but not so much that's gonna blow your mind and make you go insane so with that said yes to the palette i like the palette it's decent so i'm gonna go into the next product which is the eyeliner um i am not wearing the eyeliner and i'm gonna explain to you why first of all i'm going to uh just show you the color real quick and obviously this is also in the color lolita so i'm just gonna swatch it over here in my hand so that you can see the color so there you go that's the color right there now the reason I'm not wearing it is, number one, um, you don't really see it much on me. <laughs> I would have to do a really light look, um, a really light eye look in order for this to show somewhat. Um, again, and this is my opinion, and please, you know, tell me otherwise if you feel otherwise. Um, if you're really fair skin, in my opinion... Um, I don't think it's really gonna look good because <laughs> you really don't see it much it's just really light and it's really a shame because it's really a pretty color but once you get on there and start it's it's just didn't work for me now another thing that was a bigger problem than the color um, is the formula and the applicator I had a real problem with that first of all I'm sure gonna show you the applicator and this is very thin here but it is not as flexible as her other liners. It's just, it's kind of on the stiff side. It just doesn't, um, it just doesn't perform as well as her tattoo liner, you know, the tip on the tattoo liner or even the dagger liner. Um, I was really disappointed about that. Now the formula itself for me, and please, I am so sorry to Kat Von D fans, to Kat Von D because I honestly love her products, but the formula is terrible. I just, I cannot stand the formula. First of all, it dries very quickly, too quickly. Um, can we have a couple of seconds of leeway, you know? I kind of felt as when I was applying the liner, I kind of felt like I had to keep going in. I had to keep dipping in the formula and putting it back on and keep going in. If, and. It, it just, I didn't like it at all. I, I felt like, you know, I shouldn't have to do that. I should just be able to apply and not have to go in and dip in so much. The formula was drying so fast, which made it very difficult to keep applying because since the lines were already dry, it, it was just problem city. Um, it caked up a little bit on me. I didn't have trouble about... Um, fading or smudging or anything it lasted no fudge uh, no fudge no smudge no fading or anything like that but my real problem again is the formula the formula dries way way too quickly you have like almost no time in between to correct whatever you're trying to correct and the color itself although it is a pretty color it is just too light to show I wouldn't be able to wear this on its own um, if I put lashes or something like that you're not gonna see the liner <laughs> so um, I don't know I just I really was not crazy about the liner at all um, so while the palette is a thumbs up for me the liquid liner unfortunately I'm gonna say down e Okay, now with that out the way, the last product of the, co of the collection is the Everlasting Glimmer Veil 
Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with this lip color. Well, not really the lip color, but the formula because she does have other colors out on the Everlasting Glimmer Veil, which I a long time ago did a review when it first came out and I liked them very, very much. Formula actually is quick as well. In this color, it is quick as well. I'm just going to uh, swatch this color for you also. It is also in the color Lolita. So I'm going to swatch that. Now this is glitter. It's really a glittery color, as you can see. And it is relatively lighter in color than the eyeliner and also the eyeshadow color itself. Um, so as far as the formula, this has the same formula as the other Glimmer Veils. In, you know, if you have it and you're wondering, hey, is this the same thing? Formula is the same. It dries the same, um, has that same kind of thin consistency. If you wear it alone, you will feel that. You can use this on top of any lipstick that you have or you can wear it alone. But of course, the color will alter. Obviously, if you know, just like with a lip topper or anything like that, the color will alter. Um, so I did put a couple on my lips today during work and I just wanted to show you. You know, you can just lightly apply on your lips for that nice little shimmer. If you see that? So if you want to do that, you can definitely do that. And it just gives you a nice little shimmer. Um, if you wear it alone, it's obviously going to look different. Okay, so there's the color right there, and I am wearing the color now. <laughs> so, this color is very pretty. I love it a lot. It's a beautiful color. Lolita, as you can see here, and this is a beautiful, it's like a mauvey peachy color with some gold fleck in it. So, it really is a beautiful color. I think that you can wear this anywhere. You can wear it dress up, dress down. I think that this is the perfect color, um, so especially for daytime. I mean, sometimes, I listen, I will wear glittery stuff during the daytime. I know that it, you know, it's limited towards night and all this. stuff. Listen, I'll wear whatever. <laughs> I just toned it down a notch for work. But as you can see, it really is a pretty color. And I like that it dries fast. I like that it does not come off. Um, obviously, this has the same formula as the other ones, like I mentioned. Um, and this is going to come off, you know, maybe oily foods and things like that, like with the standard liquid lipstick. But this stays on. It dries quickly. And it is on. You can forget about it. There's nothing, no transfer. No, no, nothing nothing at all <laughs> so this is a go-to color i'm gonna recommend the lip color so there you have it guys i just mentioned all the products in the lolita collection in case you were interested you can get it on her website katvondi.com or you can get it at sephora.com in line and in store um so again the palette i enjoyed very much i'm giving a thumbs up on the palette um again if you have mauve colors if you have a mauve palette whatever you can definitely pass on this palette but if you're looking for something a little different a little bit in the mauve toned romantic rosy departments this is definitely a go-to palette it's all matte vegan cruelty free so general thumbs up the eyeliner was it was just poopy for me um, I personally do not recommend the eyeliner I did not like the eyeliner um, I think the formula is just it's just it just lacked so much and I, I was really disappointed about it so sorry about that and the lip color which I do enjoy I absolutely do enjoy this color I'm um, very nice very glittery and it is also perfect for Valentine's Day along with your eyeshadow look so that's it guys let me know what you think about the products did you buy them did you try it out what do you think do you have the same opinion as me let me know what you want what do you want me to do you want me to do a tutorial on this look let me know your thoughts thanks for watching and hearing me ramble on and on and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.